All right, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the plugin New Anim Clip, which is a really useful tutorial for organizing your stuff and making it viable for other people to work on. Animated. And then I'm going to animate. So I've got Thresh here, and he's halfway animated, and half of him is not. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be animating the other half of him, first starting with the lip syncing and showing how to consolidate the head so that way... As you can see in the prior half, he's really detailed, but at the same time, everything is all separated, so it makes it really hard to edit. So I'm going to basically animate the latter half with everything consolidated, so that way I can manipulate it very easily without having to provide unnecessary keyframes. I'd like to take a moment, let me explain. I'll tell you how I became the prince of the Mixed Bottom Lay. Alright, now that I get the mouth lip synced, I want to basically consolidate the head into a single object. So that includes stuff like the skull, the mouth, the eyebrows and lids and stuff, the eyes, um, all that stuff. So I'm going to basically find out everything that's kind of close in layers. Um, it looks like I can only go down to the eyes as the most bottom layer and then the hand kind of gets in the way. And then the topmost thing is going to be like the hair follicles below the, and the lips and the mouth below the lantern. So I'm going to select all this. I'm going to use Control Alt C to copy the frames, or you can also right click to copy the frames. You want to specifically copy the frames, not the objects themselves. Then I'm going to use the plugin New Anim Clip which you can get that from TuneMonkey.com. What this does is this makes a new symbol in the dead center of the stage and basically allows you to migrate your primary timeline into this new symbol, which basically means that the new symbol winds up lining up perfectly with where it was originally, yet it also preserves all the layers and all the stuff like that. So as you can see, I've set my symbol type to a graphic symbol just because those are easier to work with with normal animation and I am pasting in my frames, and as you can see, everything lines up perfectly. Huzzah! What I need to do now is I need to move this symbol into the location of the old one, so I'm going to just make a keyframe down near where the symbol is supposed to start and set that to frame 1. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go in and I'm going to have to clear out all the old assets of where they were. And watch me as I struggle with this, because I am trash. Anyway, I'm going to move the head symbol back to the same location where it was before, just below the lantern. And as you can see, now everything lines up. Yay. So I've basically gone from like, about like 11 layers maybe, 10 layers. We all about how your life got flipped and upside down. Down to a single layer, and now I can animate the head bouncing and moving freely as he talks. And it's a lot easier now. Now compare that to before where everything was separated. So if I wanted to make an edit, I had to basically move every single component and it didn't carry over to the next frames and stuff. Well, meanwhile with this, if I animate, if I keyframe anything, it's basically going to carry over no matter what I do. And I can also go inside the nest and edit things in there and make different parts move around and it will carry over and I won't have to repeatedly do it unnecessarily. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to fix up some of the lip syncing. And while I'm working with the lip syncing, there's one other little trick I want to show. Um, obviously Flash has an absolute garbage audio editing, but what you can do to make it a little bit easier, if you have something that's on a main timeline, like in this case, and you want to move it over to another symbol for additional lip syncing purposes, what you can do is you can actually look at the time where you're where you want it to start, um, copy the copy the layer and put it inside the new symbol that you want to manipulate that's lip synced, and then set the starting time to that time you had recorded before. You can see the time at the very bottom of the screen. It's really hard to see, and I actually didn't notice it until like a few months ago. But it makes getting your audio arranged a lot easier. All about how your life got flipped and upside down. And I'd like to take a moment, let me explain. I'll tell you how I became the prince of the myths, boss, and lay. 
Alright, now I'm free to animate the head as I please because the mouth is all lip synced and I can move all the components around because they're inside the nest. So, one other, clip, one other tip before I start. New Atom Clip creates the symbol and anchors it right in the dead center. So what you might want to do is you might want to actually change the anchor point before you start animating with it, um, just to keep it relevant so that way it might be easier to work with. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my keyframes and start animating this. Now this is the story all about how your life got flipped and upside down And I'd like to take a moment, let me explain I'll tell you how I became the prince of the myths, boss of lay Now another little trick I want to show, because I am on a time crunch on this So I don't have time to actually do as detailed an animation as was done before by uh, the other animator I work with So, because I got several of their shots I also need to do but I can still make it look roughly like what he had done before, so that way no, nobody's really going to notice any differences. Um, this is basically going to be a demonstration of like, yeah, tweens, you don't want to overuse them, but if you use them well, and with a view tricks, you can actually make them look really nice, if not indistinguishable from frame-by-frame -frame stuff, so it can really speed things up. So I'm going to show how that's done. So like, just as a small section of the animation, just as an example, I'm going to do the part where Thresh kind of tilts his head side to side when he's rapping. And so what I'm going to do is I actually have Jask or Janimation, the Janimation tool plugin, but basically all I'm doing is it just creates uh, eased keyframes or eased tweens without having to go in and manipulate the uh, tweening by hand. So I'm going to do one that eases both in and out for these few frames. Alright, so even for tweens, that actually looks pretty good, but unfortunately it also looks too fluid compared to the stuff before. So what I can do is I can actually select everything that I had just done, and I'm going to use another plugin called tween to keys also available from ToonMonkey.com. And this will immediately turn everything into twos. And then what I can do is I can go through on these individual keyframes and actually tweak it a little bit more, fix out where it was rough, and it just makes everything so much easier. It's wonderful. So you see now that winds up looking a lot more like the, the original phase of the animation. Obviously this is kind of like, this isn't meant to be a faultless method. It's more meant to speed things up. Not as fast as tweening is, but look nicer than tweening. So it's kind of a little bit of a trade-off, like a middle ground. And honestly, working more efficiently is probably one of the most important things you can ever do as an animator. So anyway, I can go through and I can do this for most of the other parts, for the rest of the head, etc. I can also use it to kind of fudge it on the other parts that are less significant, so that way I can just get them done in time. And they won't look out of place. Basically, tween two keys is really useful. It's so simple, yet it's so useful. Alright, now if you want to see the final product, basically I use the same process as before. Tween it a little bit, break it up with tween two keys, and tweak a few frames here and there where it needs tweaking. And as a result, it looks like this. Story all about how your life got flipped and upside down And I'd like to take a moment, let me explain I'll tell you how I became the prince of the myths, boss of lay So yeah, as you can see, now it looks a lot more like it's frame by frame rather than tween Despite the fact that it was originally based around like some loose tweens um, I can also go into the head and I can actually now manipulate stuff like the eyebrows and stuff and the eyelids Without actually having to make a whole bunch of unnecessary keyframes in fact, because the on the pain, main timeline, because this is um, animated in twos, I could technically just directly tween the eyelids and stuff. And as long as the tweens are actually like short enough and they're not long enough and they're not too long, nobody would really notice it that it was tweened. I'm not gonna actually do that in the final end, but technically it's just kind of a mixing of ones and twos if you think about it, because technically tweens animate in ones, and it's actually often good to mix like ones and twos and sometimes threes and stuff in certain places because it makes the animation just look a little bit more fluid and a little bit more creative. Now just to demonstrate what I meant by too long of tweens to where it actually gets noticeable, I'm going to just show what that looks like right here. 
life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a moment, let me explain, I'll tell you how we can... So yeah, as you can see, that looks kind of obvious there, because the eyelids are moving so slowly. So what I can do is I can just add in a few keyframes, and just shift a few things around, and make the keyframe, the uh, motions a little bit faster. It's still all going to be 100% tween, but then at the end of it I can just run tween to keys, and convert it all back into twos again, without really having to put in an extensive amount of work. Which is really useful because, as I said, I am on a time crunch. Be all about how your life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a moment, let me explain, I'll tell you how I became the prince of the fifth boss of Lane. Alright, you see how much better that looks as a result? You can just fix up a few final things, and then this will be good to go. Turned upside down, and I'd like to take a moment, let me explain, I'll tell you how I became the prince of the fifth boss of Lane. Now let me just exp now let me just convert this with tween to keys, and it's done. Behold, now Thresh looks really kind of pretty well animated. Worry all about how your life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a... In all reality, this took me all out of about 20 minutes to do. Like, lip-syncing and all. Yay.